In this plate we're looking at clothing brands. We'll start with Ruka. This is very popular where I come from uh, and now around the world. Uh, Ruka, R-U-C-A. The balance of opposites, another exoteric meaning to an esoteric term. As above, so below. Same as the yin and yang, black and white. We see the V and the A here now being used as the square and the compass of Freemasonry. You can see the connotation now that Seal of Solomon, which is the Star of David. This is an occult uh, symbol. It's called the Kiyun or the Remphon in the Bible. Acts uh, chapter 7, I believe, is the Remphon. It's referred to as the Remphon. And in Amos, it's referred to as the Kiyun. I could be wrong on those references, uh, but you can ch uh, look it up. Uh, now, uh, the V and the A, square and compass, and you see the square and compass in Freemasonry. Their label in the back shows the classic uh, checkerboard. Griffins. Now you see the balance of opposites. Here's dawn. Here's dusk. Here's nature. Here's uh, city. Now you have the reflection and the backwards uh, writing. We know that that is done constantly. Now a classic uh, yin and yang type symbol, as above, so below. So the black with the white V and then the um, uh, white with a black A. And you have now references to lightning bolts, as above, so below. The checkerboard, that is their classic design, and the triangle up and below. Easy to decipher now and now the joining of the a uh, the V and the A together as above so below handshakes we've seen this uh, connotation in Freemasonry this is actually called the Masonic Masonic owl and you can see that uh, on the website here's the owl that's the owl of Minerva this is the eye the pyramid and the eye of Lucifer we should understand this clearly oh and look at the bottom 33 there's 33, there's that lightning bolt, as above, so below. It's embedded into this brand. Ruka, you see the pentagram, and you see 33 at the bottom. The double-headed eagle of the Roman Empire and Freemasonry. Now here's Leo Romero they promote. This guy's supposed to be an artist, but look what he paints. Um, he uses this, that's his design. Feathered serpent spitting lightning bolts. I mean, seriously, are you an artist? Here he is with the triple six signs. Here's the checkerboards. There he is with his installation. And the dualism and the horned beast or animal. You can see the dualism here as well. <laughs> I mean, this is... Feathered Serpent, Spinning Lightning Bolts. They know what they're doing. Here is that Zeus connotation, or the God of Lightning. Lightning, Lightning, and what does he do? He paints uh, skate decks, which are skateboards, and single eye symbolism there. Pretty obvious. Now moving on on Ruka. You see the Triple Cross in this design. You see the Crescent Moon and Star. You see the eye. All of that here, your mind is ours. Psychic warfare, psychological warfare on us. They own us. They put everything on television, movies. They own us because they own our minds and they make us pay to wear their brands. This is Babylon, the winged lion, Satan rides alone opposites here's Ruka again you can see on a uh, patch Ruka what is the A the A is the pyramid with capstone we can see that here a actual pain a at the top for the pyramid with capstone a Actual pain, the pyramid with the capstone. There's Kanye West actually promoting this brand. Here is Kanye wearing actual pain, the brand. This is John the Baptist's head on a platter. 
You can see that here. Mr. Crowley conceived in the eye of a secret. This is a satanic brand being promoted at the highest level of music. Of course, he doesn't look like a Satanist, so everybody just questions and says, oh gosh, they don't look like a heavy metal guy. Here they are. This is Egypt, the Ankh. Look at the hexagram. Here is the uh, Eye of Horus and the reference to Satanism. This is the Kabbalah. This is the Ten Sephiroth of the Kabbalah and the snake intertwined. So Kabbalism to Gnosticism to Freemasonry, Satanism and Luciferian, all the mystery religions, all from Babylon, all false and Lucifer worship. I am magical and you can see here. Sympathy for the Devil, the Crescent Moon, Psychic Circle, Astrology, Skull, Skulls and Bones, Witches, you can see the triangle here, Witches Coven, Devil Television, now MTV, this is should be obvious to us. Uh, copyrights again uh, broken and MTV would allow it and their brand is being promoted by Kanye West. They know that their television is of the devil and Satan. Skinner, this is key. Crucifixions, that's why they wear crosses. Satanists can wear crosses because what they do in their ritual is they crucify people underground and they skin them alive. And they drink their blood because the blood contains the adrenaline and they get a rush out of it. Don't believe me? Go ahead. Deny what the world is. Deny that the religion of Lucifer exists. Here's uh, Fall, not Paul. You can read about that if you want. Diana. Now Mickey. Copyrights. Now. Again. What do you see? Marilyn Monroe. This is their death book. It's called Death Book. This is actual pain on their website. Freemason Shriner telling a secret. This person is now veiled. Uh, he can't reveal that secret. He looks mind controlled. Now this kitty uh, symbol, he's holding on to this little kitten. Here's a mind control victim, as I would see it and understand it. There they are playing their rituals. Here's Mao Zedong, uh, founder of communism and atheist uh, China, killed millions and then you have these rituals going on. Here's the cross, and that's defaced. And then you have this woman here now being painted, and this uh, person is coming. Bizarre rituals going on, and this, we don't know what that is, 3D, whatever. You can put on some glasses and find that out, or just nonsense. Now this a girl wearing the Chanel sign, which is the Vesica Pisces in the middle. She's the female. And vulgarity. Can you see what's going on? Do you understand? Can you interpret what is going on? Or is it just still fantasy to you?